it's really important to pick a niche and stick to it. Hi everyone, it's Lauren Day and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Instagram. If you want to know how to grow your Instagram from zero followers to 50,000 followers, then keep on watching. If you're new around here, I am a beauty blogger, makeup artist, social media manager and graphic designer. I'm going to share my top five tips for growing your Instagram organically and the best ways to take advantage of this ever-growing social media platform. In this five part video series, I'm sharing my top five Instagram tips and how I grew my Instagram from zero to 50,000 followers. Each video will contain one tip. In my last video, I shared tip number two, making an impact with quality photos and why quality over quantity is so important. Tip number two, and that is quality over quantity. To make an impact on Instagram, you need to stand out and you do that with high quality photos. Now it's time for tip number three. My third tip when it comes to Instagram and gaining a lot of followers, especially 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 followers, is to niche down. It's really important to pick a niche and stick to it. A niche relates to the products, services or interests that appeal to a small, specialised selection of the population. If you're going to talk about Apple technology, then, you know, having an account where you post all about the iPad, the iPhone, Apple technology, you're going to then get followers who are interested in Apple technology. If you're a makeup artist and you post beauty videos and you post makeup tips and makeup looks, then you're going to gain followers that are makeup lovers. If you have a dog and you post photos of your dog, you're going to get people who are following you that also may have a dog or that are interested in getting a dog or that just love animals in general. Finding a niche and sticking to it is really important when it comes to followers because you want to gain people that are going to be loyal to your account. When people choose to follow you on Instagram, it's likely that they'll scroll down and view some of your posts. People like to relate to other people that are similar to them. It's like attracts like. So generally, if people are into makeup, they'll follow you because you're into makeup as well. If you have a dog and they have a dog, it's likely that they'll follow you as well. People are more likely to follow you if they're interested in the things that you're posting. When it comes to an account about a hobby or something like that, maybe it's your dog, maybe you're a foodie or maybe you're into travel, then it's easy to create a niche account with a similar theme. Maybe you're into Buffy the Vampire Slayer and you want to post pictures of Buffy the Vampire. So Buffy fans around the world might want to follow your account because they're into the same thing that you're into. When it comes to a personal brand account, it can be a little bit hard to create a niche but it's important to try to keep the consistency of your content the same. When it comes to a personal brand, you are the niche. When it comes to a personal brand Instagram, say you're a fitness personal trainer or maybe you're a beauty blogger or a makeup artist or maybe you're a mum, you're still going to attract a particular niche. So whether it's other mums that might want to follow you, whether it's someone that's into fitness might want to follow you, whether they like makeup tutorials, they might want to follow you. So try to keep within one particular niche. If it's a personal brand, try to keep to four consistent themes. For example, my personal Instagram account, I may post a selfie, I may then post a photo of my city that I live in, like the Gold Coast, I may then post a makeup photo, and then maybe I might post a little um, quote or something like that. Obviously on a personal brand account you still want to create have an account that is interesting and it has variety but you don't want to be posting too many different things. So maybe you're at your grandma's house and you post a picture of your grandma, next minute you're posting a picture of your car, then you're posting a picture of a milkshake, then maybe next day you're posting a picture of a makeup item you bought. People are probably unlikely to follow you because you're all over the place. People like to follow people that they relate to, so try to pick a few different topics within your Instagram that you're interested in. So say it's, I'm going to post one beauty photo, one lifestyle photo, I'm going to post one quote, I'm going to post one selfie. So try to stick to a niche within your personal brand if you can, and that will help 
to create loyal followers as well. Tip number four is all about engagement. It's really important that your followers are not only loyal to you, but that your followers are engaging with your content. In my next video, I'll be sharing tip number four. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to learn more about how you can grow your Instagram. If you have any questions about Instagram, pop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lauren Day. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video.